a Roman soldier runs for his life. Moments ago, whilst on patrol, he caused civil outrage. He does something that was completely unacceptable in Egypt. A furious Egyptian mob is rapidly closing in. They saw this despicable act and hunt him down. The Romans are disgusted that one of their own died in the hands of an enraged Egyptian mob. They are appalled, but they know he crossed the line. A line that no one living in Egypt dare cross. Most of us see a statue of a cat here, a very pretty statue, but to the Egyptians this represented one of their most popular gods. Bastet, the cat goddess of fertility, motherhood and protection of the home. You might know Bastet in her more recognisable cat-headed female form, but the statue before us was actually the most common way Bastet was depicted. This however, wasn't always the case. Bastet went through a dramatic transformation 3,000 years ago, almost entirely out of necessity. She was originally a lion goddess. She had the head of a lioness and the body of a woman. The Egyptians recognized lions for their authority and ferocity, a deadly threat. They were respected through fear. Running into a hungry lion in Egypt was not a very fun time. Unless you happen to be a mouse, your impression of a household cat probably isn't a ferocious predator. So this still begs the question, what's the reason for Bastet's transformation? Why did Bastet morph from a fierce lion into a fluffy cat? Our first clues lie in some of the earliest Egyptian mythology. Bastet's father was sun god Ra. Arguably one of the most significant Egyptian gods, he had dominion over the sun. He wielded the strength and the dominance of the Eye of Ra, an instrument of power and vengeance. This was a symbol Bastet was commonly associated with before her transformation. Bastet also had a lookalike lioness sister called Sekhmet. Sekhmet was a vicious warrior goddess who was said to have come to Earth on occasion to eradicate the planet of her enemies. The sisters looked virtually identical, but there were some serious differences between Bastet and Sekhmet. Compared to her warrior sister, Bastet was seen as a more passive, benevolent goddess. The fear and aggression Sekhmet inspired began to create a rift between the perception of the two sisters. Both of their unique qualities slowly developed, their differences exacerbated over time. Sekhmet became more combative and Bastet became calmer. This is made clear in hieroglyphics which tell stories of her softer, more nurturing side. The oldest religious writings in the world are the ancient pyramid texts. In these, she is shown as a mother and nurse to the king caring for him. This is also true in a collection of Egyptian funeral spells known as the Coffin Texts. These outline how she provides protection for the deceased. Also found in tombs were paintings of cats with glowing eyes. Night falls over Egypt and torches are lit. A small cat slowly creeps through the shadows and the torch's flames are reflected in its eyes. They look like they are glowing. To the Egyptians, this was a cat seeing demons in the darkness. A special vision that allowed them to see dark forces and evil spirits. Their unique sight gave them the ability to perceive and ward off these threats. Cats and kittens. We see them as a fluffy friendly pet. Originally however, Egyptians did not see them like this at all. They had a big problem and they couldn't solve it on their own. Fortunately, cats entered the picture and changed their civilization forever. Bread and grain-derived products were the majority of an Egyptian's daily diet. 
bread was a staple of every meal, so large quantities of grains were harvested and stored. Unfortunately, grain stores attracted vermin like rats and mice. These unwanted pests were a massive issue as they often carry deadly diseases. The Nile Floods Your hard work plowing the grain fields finally pays off. You have an incredibly successful harvest. All of your wheat is stored and good to go for the next year. Then a nasty noise comes out of the grain stores. You go out to investigate and you see it. Dread hits. A fat rat carrying a disease has been running all over your wheat. Ugh. Cats were naturally attracted to these grain stores for their love of the hunt. Rodents were their targets, and they found frequent success. Egypt welcomed this with open arms and began baiting cats closer to the grain stores with cat treats. The relationship between cats and humans strengthened, and the rest is history. Like cats, Egyptians also loved hunting. A cat's exceptional hunting abilities were another catalyst for their admiration across Egypt. They didn't stop at rats and mice though. An Egyptian cat leveraged its hunting prowess and lightning fast reflexes for a more formidable opponent. Wait, did cats really hunt cobras? Yes, yes they did. Cobras were popular prey for Egyptian cats. Getting bitten by a snake would have been game over for an ancient Egyptian. So a cat's willingness to take on these deadly creatures was rather impressive. We actually have concrete evidence of this in the world's first cat meme. Here we see Ra in the form of Bastet and a serpent god. They called him a Pep or Apophis. He was accepted as Ra's most fearsome enemy and he intended to drag the world into chaos. Fortunately, Bastet rises to the challenge and single-handedly defeats him with a knife in her paw. The Egyptians clearly were not lacking in creativity, were they? So Bastet was clearly seen as a protector, but why was she the goddess of fertility? This one's actually pretty simple. Egyptians appreciated the large litters of kittens cats could produce. A huge flourishing family was the goal of most Egyptians. They aspired to have as many children as they possibly could, and because of this, they couldn't help but respect the impressive fertility of female cats. You'll often see Bastet with a litter of kittens at her feet, this of course represents motherhood and fertility. Little statues like this were a popular gift, especially towards the end of the year. The last five days of each year were considered to be bad luck by Egyptians. They called them the Demon Days. Many good luck gifts were given during this time, including bastard amulets, jewelry, and even live litters of kittens were also popular presents. These New Year's gifts were all symbolic of good luck and optimism around fertility. They were symbolic of the receiver achieving success in their pregnancy. There were a couple of other main symbols associated with Bastet, particularly when she was in her female form. You'll frequently see Bastet holding a few items, which are commonly linked with Hathor, goddess of the sky and women. Often in her hands are sistrums or manats. A manat is a ritual necklace that brought protection against bad luck and evil spirits. They also doubled as a rattle instrument. Sistrums were also a rattle-like instrument, typically made of bronze. They made a loud jangling sound and were used during times of celebration, very commonly played at temples. Egyptian temples are renowned for their opulence. Bastet's temples are no exception. Unfortunately, they have all been completely destroyed, totally leveled. But we have some brief accounts of their magnificence from Greek historian Herodotus who visited them before they fell. Located in the Eastern Delta, the entire city worshipped Bastet, and of course, cats. It became one of the richest and most luxurious cities on the entire planet for a time. This was because of the large numbers of tourists that visited to pay respects to the goddess and to have their pet cats buried there. Bubastas also hosted one of the largest festivals in history, entirely dedicated to Bastet. When the people are on their way to Bubastus, they go by river, a great number in every boat, men and women together. Some of the women make a noise with rattles, others play flutes all the way, while the rest of the men and women sing and clap their hands. More wine is drunk at this feast than in the whole year. 
Herodotus says that there were massive crowds of up to 700,000 men and women who arrived on ships to drink, dance, and enjoy the festivities. It's clear Bastet was beloved. Her following gained a lot of momentum and rapidly grew over time. By the late period and Greco-Roman times, she was one of the most respected and popular gods in all of Egypt. The Greeks commonly equated Bastet with their own goddess, Artemis, who was also a fertility goddess. Whilst the Romans respected Bastet as a significant god, right up until Christianity became the primary religion in Europe. The rise in Bastet's popularity and the spread of domestic cats over the world is no coincidence. It was initially a relationship forged out of necessity, but soon evolved into something much deeper. Remember that soldier at the beginning of this video? What could he possibly have done that infuriated the Egyptian mob so much? This soldier killed a cat. Unfortunately for him, the punishment for killing a cat in ancient Egypt was death. Bastet was an embodiment of the qualities Egyptians regarded in high esteem at the time. She represented the link between the symbiotic relationship humans and cats composed after an agricultural revolution. She was a goddess responsible for things that were greatly valued in ancient Egypt. As a fertility goddess, she produced inspiring quantities of kittens. As a protector of the home, she warded off evil spirits and disease spread by vermin. As a comforter, she nurtured many kittens and kept Egyptian laps warm on cold nights. Bastet the Serpent Slayer, a god transformed into an alternative feline form. A once feared deity, now a true fan favorite. Two things before you go on to the next video, check out the links in the description, I'm constantly keeping it updated. If you want to see more of my Egyptian related videos, you'll definitely find something of value in there. Also, if you want to see more videos just like this one, be sure to click the subscribe button. It's free and will stop you from missing out on new video uploads. But that's all for today. This has been Apollo for New Historia, and I'll see you in the next video.